there anything more classic than jeans and a t-shirt? Actually, probably. There are so many good classics in fashion land. But today, I want to talk about the very simple and classic combination of jeans and a t-shirt and five ways for styling it very differently using elements of style, things like contrast, silhouette, shape, all that fun stuff. I'm gonna keep it as general as possible so that hopefully this just inspires you to take your basics that you have in your closet uh, and you know, you spice them up a little. It also happens that I have a wonderful partner for today's video, Power of My People. If you've been around for a while, you know I've been working with Power of My People probably since the beginning of my channel. They are a wonderful Canadian company Everything is ethically made in Canada. Their shirts are normally what I wear, they're button-up shirts, but they have actually come out with their first ever t-shirt. So thought it would be a good star of today's show. What I love especially about it is that it is a little bit more of a boxier fit. And this Power of My People t-shirt is really a perfect length. I don't know how they figured it out, but it works really beautifully when you wanna tuck it in, like there's not too much bulk. And it's also short enough to look okay when you wear it untucked as well. Like it doesn't look too sloppy, which can often be the case when you're wearing a t-shirt untucked. The fabric is milled in Portugal. The shirt itself is made in Canada, but it's a really nice, thick fabric, it's not see-through, and it's got really great details like reinforced top stitching on the neckline. I'm wearing a small, and knowing them, this is definitely a t-shirt that is going to stand the test of time. I do have a discount code for you. It's actually ongoing. If you want to use it later down the road, or if you don't need a t-shirt or a button-up shirt just yet, definitely you can come back when you are ready, when you actually have that gap in your wardrobe, and use the discount code then. It's always linked uh, in my description box pretty much of, of every video for the past three and a half four years which is pretty much the lifetime of my channel all right the first style personality is classic and elevated these are two words that i often hear in my virtual styling sessions when people want to dress up their basic jeans and a tee if we're to really break down the words classic and elevated to help us rejig this very basic jeans and a t-shirt. I think words like polished, put together, fitted or tailored come to mind. I'm going to choose a pair of straight leg jeans for this. And the other way I'm going to make this feel a little bit more tailored and polished is by tucking the shirt in. In this case, because there's a low contrast between the jeans and the shirt, I want to keep that low contrast going. So that's something else that you can think of too, in terms of when you're like building these outfits from basics is do you want to have like a whole harmonious outfit or do you want to have one focal point? So instead I'm going to add the contrast in the footwear. I think if we had a belt here, the two of these would compete with each other. So to finish this off, I'm just going to throw on a pair of my like bold classic sunnies. Now on the complete other side, I'm going to do a casual and athletic style personality. And when I think of casual and athletic, some of the elements of style that come to mind are looser off body fits or you could think the opposite and like something really fitted like traditional athletic wear so we could go two ways there things that feel maybe a little bit more like loungewear really comfortable to give that casual athletic vibe i'm going to keep the t-shirt untucked or if you want to go in that opposite spectrum you could tie a little knot in the t-shirt and that's why i love these shirts so much is that they have a little bit more volume so you can play with them a little bit. Obviously, I'm gonna add some sneakers. They are gonna add a little bit of heft to the bottom of this look. So I'm gonna balance that out and add a bit of contrast with my ball cap and a really, really functional bag, probably my backpack. Also gonna swap out the sunglasses for something that feels softer. I think the roundness of these sunglasses compared to that glamorous edge of the other ones also makes this look feel so much more sporty. Okay, this next one, retro style personality. Depending how old you are or depending on your perspective, retro could mean a number of different decades. <laughs> For me, when I think of retro, I think of like the 80s. I'm gonna start by switching up the silhouette of the denim here. 
for my vintage Levi's. These are more of a boyfriend fit, but if I'm thinking retro 80s, I'm thinking of these like balloon kind of pants. I'm gonna hike up the waistline a little bit here, and then I'm gonna do a little bit of like a pin tuck or a pin roll on the hem of these jeans so that it gives it that balloon effect. Easily able to manipulate the silhouette to feel more retro just by doing these little tweaks. For the shoes, my sneaker already has a little bit of that like retro vintage feel, or I could do my black and white flats, which because of the point and the higher vamp, these also feel a little bit retro. I'll also add a big pair of hoops. Definitely something I would wear in real life. Romantic is the next one. When I think of romantic and that whole style personality, some of the main elements that come to mind are softness, uh, flow and movement, definition of parts of my body that I really love. So it's not necessarily about highlighting the bust or the waist or having an hourglass figure. It's whatever a, a romantic a romanticism of your body feels like for you. And then working with my scarf, I could work with it a number of ways. I could tie it around my waist and use that to create a more focal point, but it would also add that softness, that movement. Alternatively, I could just tie it in my hair. I would add romantic jewelry, something with pearls, the softness of the pearl to bring out the soft white of the t-shirt. And finally, Business casual. Is that even a style personality or is that just a function of our life? I don't know. You tell me. I wanted to mention this one though because I have a feeling a lot of us are going back into the office and I think a lot of the office culture has changed to be more casual. So it's really nice to be able to use some of your like weekend clothes or more casual clothes like jeans and a t-shirt in an office environment. So when I think about business casual, it's almost like the classic and elevated. A lot of the style elements are the same. I want to have that structured tailoring, that clean, sleek silhouette. So I'm gonna go back to my straight leg jeans. They feel really clean cut. And I'm actually gonna add the belt in this beautiful tan cognac color because I don't want this to be too high contrast. I'm gonna add a blazer for that structure, that tailoring. That was probably really obvious, I apologize, but like, we're here, it's happening. What I'm actually gonna do instead of using the slingbacks, which might be the more traditional choice, I'm gonna go for my very low heeled black and white flats. I think using that white at the bottom will really play up to that bright white in the t-shirt and the sharpness of the toe feels really polished and less, less romantic than the slingbacks. So that is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, if you made it this far, thank you so, so much for watching. Let me know uh, what style vibe was your favorite or if you would like me to do this with a different uh, classic base of items, just let me know in the comments below. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week ahead, a wonderful rest of your day, morning, evening. Thank you so much again to Power of My People for working with me today and every day. I just love them. I've got that discount code for you in the description box. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you, thank you again for watching. Ciao!